informative classics. August 5th, 1981, a significant event in labor history that had a major impact on the aviation industry. The Pato strike of 1981. This strike was led by the Professional Air Traffic Controller Organization and was triggered by a combination of factors. Air traffic controllers were dissatisfied with their working conditions, including long hours, high stress levels, and insignificant rest periods. They were also seeking better wages and improved job benefits. Unfortunately, negotiations between PATCO and the Federal Aviation Administration reached an impasse leading to the strike. The controller's demands such as shorter work weeks and improved pay were not met. As a result, over 11,000 air traffic controllers were fired after President Ronald Reagan declared the strike illegal. This strike had a significant impact, impact on the air travel in the United States, causing disruptions and highlighting the challenges faced by workers in demanding better working conditions. It remains an important milestone in labor history. If you enjoyed this glimpse into the Paco strike of 1981 and want to explore more fascinating stories like this, make sure to, to subscribe to my Informative Classics YouTube channel. I regularly share captivating historic events and insights to keep you informed and entertained. Don't miss out on future videos. Hit that subscribe button and join our community of curious learners. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Informative Classics. August 4th, 1981. This was the scene at BWI Airport, a scene duplicated at every airport in the country. PATCO went on strike for more money and a shorter work week. Picket signs went up despite threats from President Reagan. Two days later, those threats came true. All striking air traffic controllers were fired, never to be rehired by the government. Some are still looking for work. Meet Steve Wells, 36 years old. Since the strike, his marriage broke up. He's drifted from job to job, trying everything from the restaurant business to his current stint with a nearby construction company. But air traffic controlling is what Steve Wells did best. That's the job I was trained for. That's the job I like. And the reason I, personally, I went on strike was I felt that some of, a lot of the things we were asking for were just. Almost a third of Wells' life has been invested in air traffic controlling. Is he bitter? In some respects, I, I'm bitter. Um, there are some, I still have some good friends that are air traffic controllers that stayed, but they told me they, they always stood right up front and said they couldn't go out, and I respected that. When you're flying as a passenger these days, do you feel safe? I don't feel as safe. I, I know there are, some good, there are good controllers still working. Some, some of our friends are still working, and, uh, and I know there, there are good ones still out there. But they, uh, I, my feeling is they have pushed the training way too far. Is it less safe to fly today than it was four years ago? The FAA wouldn't tell us on camera. But off camera, an FAA spokesman from Washington says airports are as safe as they were before the PATCO strike, and BWI is no exception. When asked about recent near misses at BWI, the FAA says it's laid down a new rule which requires all aircraft flying near the airport to be in contact with the tower. The FAA claims it does not miss the 12,000 ex-air traffic controllers. Neither did the passengers we spoke with. I travel quite a bit, but I don't feel any different at all. No, I haven't given it much thought at all, really. Uh, it's about the same as it's always been. I don't travel quite that much, but I would say I have not noticed any difference at all. Okay. Really. Same now as it was then. About the same as always. Naturally, you think about it, but um, it's like getting on the highway to me. <laughs> so you don't feel any less safe these days than you did before the strike? No. I like living risky. I'm not ashamed of it. I'm. Uh, I'd do the same thing under the same circumstances again.